Welcome to the No Manches Que Paso podcast, a podcast no one asked for about the unfiltered ups and downs of life from the perspective of two Latinas who got familias to manage, real shit to deal with, and are just taking it one day at a time. Our chismes are your chismes. Porque, Porque why, why not? not? All right, it's the last episode of the year. Woo woo. 2023 out. Yes. I had to do a double take because I forget I what year I'm at, what year I'm in, because I'm always planning ahead. I'm already like mentally in 2024. Yeah. Girl, I need to live in the present more. I think we all, I've, I mean, I'm guilty of that too. I'm always thinking ahead. I'm always trying to plan ahead, mm-hmm. right? Um, and I need to just take a step back and like just you know, live in the present and watch my kids. And, you know, I'm always like, okay, what are we going to do next? And what are we going to do next weekend? I mean, I get, I get um, mad at my son because he'll be like, okay, what are we going to do next weekend? I'm like, can we like get through this weekend first? Oh, same. (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) I'm taking it one minute at a time (laughs) here. Right. Uh, Uh. But yeah, Um, I think that's why I enjoy this time with you because it's like we are like here there's nowhere else for us to be right we're chit-chatting sharing our cheese miss let's start with a fit check because you looking good today girl i was excited i had ordered this online i saw it on my feed and i was like this is a kanye west album i believe it was the graduation album um but Yes, I listened to Kanye my entire, you know, college life up until, you know, when he just stopped really making music. But um, yeah, I, I love I love his his music. And of course, I had to match it with uh, my two seventies that are a little bit beat up because I love I love them so much. Yeah, you look and put together. Thanks, boo. You look nice. I'm jelly. I was in high school listening to Kanye, for the record. Listen, I was just a freshman in college. I was fresh meat, all right? You always got to bring that up, man. Well, I'm still in the holiday spirit. I bought two pajamas, actually, and decided to wear the Christmas one for the Christmas episode. And so I had this one, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm I mean, still in my still, comfies. I mean, yeah. Um, yep. Pairing it with my recently purchased Nikes. They already made an appearance. Nice, nice. In an episode and Athletica sweatpants. As I sit down, they're a little short. It's all, but you know what? It's that's all okay. good. That's, I can, that's the style, I can, like, girl. roll them up. You'd, oh, that's also the style, too. Is that? <laughs> Is that weird? Uh, yeah. It's giving okay. viejita the vibes. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. And then we are celebrating the end of the year with wine. Yes. And I picked this out uh, for you. Snoop Snoop. Yeah. We're going to cheers. I love Snoop Dogg. Yes. Cheers. Mmm. It's good. This is good. My favorite red is a Malbec or yeah, a Pinot too. Noir. That is mine too. I love Malbec, but this is very light. Yeah. I um it's a blend. I was inspired. So you said that you have been watching uh Kevin Hart's I yes. interview series. Yes. And it is hilarious. I, I love, love it. I love Kevin the Hart. one where he uh interviewed Sofia Vergara. Yes. Right? Oh my gosh, she's hilarious. She is a real one. She don't give a shit. And yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I watched that when I was cracking up. I was watching it at work. I had my little AirPod and I was just dying. <laughs> just cracking up. It, he is hilarious. All his guests are funny. And um, we're channeling. We're channeling. We just need a sommelier. Yeah. <laughs> next, yeah. next year. Next year, we're going to bring in our own sommelier. Yes. <laughs> Someone sponsor. <laughs> Someone sponsor us, please. Yeah. If not, I'll get um, 
My güero. I mean, he could be a he, he could be a good one. He can dress up with a little <laughs> little towel. <laughs> oh, um, Michael. Yeah. But this is this is good. This is a red blend. All right. Yeah. All right. So I love it. what are we thinking about the end of the year? I think this is a good time to reflect. And I know we just, we have a handful of episodes out. Yes. How are you feeling? You know, at first, I, I you know, because I'm the one editing it. So I, I noticed um, in the first episode, I was a little bit nervous, right? Because, you know, you're not, I mean, I'm not used to talking about myself. And so uh, I just think, and also being vulnerable, Mm. I know it's super important to be 100% authentic and real and, you know, just be being open and honest about the struggles that you've been dealing with your life. Because, you know, there are other people that could, you know, have the same type of struggles, right? And you can be, I could be, you know, an inspiration to others that we, we got through this and there is a light at the end of the tunnel, whether they're, you're dealing with some hard shit, like financial shit, um, your kids are driving you crazy, or your work sucks, or you're starting a new business, like there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and you just can't give up. Yeah, I think the people that I hang around with, like I'm so intentional about pouring into other people, but then also hanging out with people that I feel like can pour into me right? relationally, mm-hmm. whether it's in business or um, just in regular life. And I am so thankful that you finally said yes <laughs> to stepping in front of the mic or in step, stepping in front of the cameras and, and getting on the mic with yeah. me. I have been podcasting for a long time now. Yes. And I I feel like I still get nervous. So like it's it's, it's fine. Normal. It is what it is. Yeah. I think we all are very self-critical of oh ourselves. Oh my goodness. We're our worst critic. Yes. It's, I cannot tell you how many times like I put out an episode and then people are like I can't believe I sound like that or like I actually sound good. Like they're surprised. At themselves for either okay. how they sound or they're maybe feeling self-conscious about wanting to listen to the episode before I put it out oh, or okay. wanting or like actually surprised that they sounded good. Did you ever have anybody that was like, no, I don't, I don't like how I sound. I don't like what I said. Can you not post it? No. Okay. That's good. Because I think I take... I take care in really hyping them up and like really pulling out the value that they shared. And I just want to do that to you. No, thank you. You are hilarious. (laughs) I laugh at every episode that I listen to. I mean, I try, I, my friends and my family have always been like the, the funny one to say shit sometimes out of pocket. (laughs) Uh, just, I mean, I try to be more cautious of what I say now because, you know, having a filter sometimes, you know, you don't want to be insensitive to other people. So, Mm -hmm. um, I definitely try to, um, be cognizant of what I say, but also like keeping it real too. Like I want to keep it real. I want to be funny. I want to make people laugh because I think it's, life is too short to be serious all the time. You know, it's, you have to laugh at yourself too. I laugh at myself all the time, all the time. You can even ask my husband. He's like, I know you laugh at yourself. That's, that's what you do. Well, now I laugh at you too. (laughs) Hey, that's good. That makes, that makes me happy that I can make other people laugh. Yeah. I laugh with you. I think I am trying to draw from your energy. Hilariousness. (laughs) And open up more because yes. I am so used to presenting myself in this like polished way. And maybe Absolutely. I'm not actually polished when I'm presenting right. myself. You, but, beca- right. 
I think this has given me an outlet to show people that who like, you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think only I think I said this before in another episode that only the people closest to me have been able to experience like my sarcasm and my wit and I always have yeah. like two two sides of me, right? When you were talking about how you're like professional and your other podcast is totally mm-hmm. different, right? I I feel like I'm the same way. People when they really get to know me and that's what I said, like it's I it's hard for me to open up fully. Like yes, I will be outgoing or I'll try to get to know you and ask questions and whatnot, but I won't necessarily open up to you. Like mm-hmm. I won't be, you know, my full true authentic self. Like I feel like I have to really get to know you yeah. in order for me to like open up. But I think I'm going to change that. I just want to be myself all the time. Like, I don't want to have to. Obviously, when I'm at work, I'm a certain way, right? You have to Mm -hmm. be professional. You can't be, you know, swearing up a storm. Um, Yeah. And I think there's a a level of code switching that we just slip into. Yeah. I'm a Gemini, too. So there are two sides of me. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. There is. Oh, I'm a cancer. You know, I'm right on the cusp. Mm-hmm. I'm June 21st. Ooh. So I've always like been either cancer or Gemini, depending on who, what website or whatever. Yeah, I'm on the cusp too for Leo. Leo. Oh, okay. Um, I'm July 20th. And I oh, think okay. Leo starts the 22nd. Yeah, so I, I do have both traits. Mm. Like I do, you know, that double like personality like when you're very chill very calm but then also I can turn up too if you piss me off (laughs) well I'm glad I have you in my corner then (laughs) I'm trying to you know work on that (laughs) yeah all right so I think I didn't tell you I was going to ask you this but I want to know what is a random fact about you random fact if you want, I'll go first. Yes, go first. Cause okay, so I've been thinking about this, that not many people know that I have an aversion to feet. I am not a foot person. <laughs> and I always have my feet covered. Okay. I always wear socks. Even when you go to bed? Yes. You don't get hot? No. <laughs> the only time I take my socks off is in the shower. Well, I would hope. And I, if I'm on the beach. Okay. Like, that's the only times that I take my socks off. So you keep your socks on when you're having sex? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael knows not to touch my socks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Okay. This is a new side of Karina. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, everyone has their, their thing. Their, you like socks. And it bothers me that he takes his socks off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You sound like my children. <laughs> if I have my socks off or if my husband has his socks off, They'll, like, go and get us socks to put them on or, like, put our slippers on. They don't, like, want to see our feet. I don't want to see your feet. Uh, I don't want to see any now man's I know what feet. To get, now I know what to get you for your birthday. <gasps> socks, please? Well, socks are just pictures of feet. <laughs> Random fact about me. You know what? My... My husband has always told me, he pointed it out, actually. So when I'm, like, over something or bored, I'll start seeing the Star Spangled Banner. I'll be, like, I'll exhale. I'll be, like, oh, say, can't you see? (laughs) Wait, you say can't? Or can. It's can? It's, yes, it's can. Oh, say, can. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean. 
that's what I start singing. I just start singing. I'll like start, I'll start belting it out, top of my lungs, mm-hmm. and he'll be like, "Oh man, we gotta get her. We gotta get her to do something because she's bored." Got to do something. And it's like, I don't know. I've always done that. And I think it's probably from my dad. Like, he always, when he was, you know, at our, growing up, he would always just bust out these songs. And they would be so random. And maybe that's where I picked it up. Or I'll just start singing just out of the blue, the Star Spangled Banner. It's weird. But, yeah, that is a fact. Have you ever done it during sex? <laughs> Wow, that would be <laughs> that would be a slap in his face. He'd be exactly. like, "Exactly," because he knows what that means. <laughs> like, oh shit, I might have to change position. <laughs> oh, but man. no, I have not. Phew. But we got a but. I think I've fallen asleep. <gasps> no, I was maybe. tired. Yes. I was tired. Sometimes you're just like, all right, you know, just roll over. Are you done? You know, because after kids, you're like, sleep is more important. Yes, I think I have not, I've not fallen asleep, but I definitely (laughs) like passed out, like blacked out. Whoa, so you don't remember anything. I mean, no. (laughs) That has not happened. Like, I've been so drunk oh. that I, like, oh, okay. don't remember. Like, okay, I remember that, that starting, sense. but I don't remember, like, <laughs> finishing. I remember starting. I probably finished, but. <laughs> oh, my God. It's getting hot in her. Yeah. But, you know, Michael does the same thing. He hums the Star Spangled Banner. Like, but like randomly. <laughs> That's weird. And it bothers th- me. Like, just, I, is he bored? I think when he feels awkward, like, he'll just be like, like, if he does something or, like, it's taking too long and he'll be like, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't know that somebody else, shit, that's awesome. Can you imagine if you both started singing, at humming time? at the same time? That would be that would be amazing. We'd have to catch catch that on video. <laughs> How would you do that though? It's yeah, impossible. You're right. Well, Elio with his three sixty, I'll have to wear it. At Everything all times. is content. <laughs> Everything, but that's a, a fun fact about me. But what do you think? How do you think this year went for you, business wise? Because you got a lot of shit going on. I do. It's been a roller coaster. So, I mean, we are in a different space because our studio is finally getting completed. Or at least like starting the renovations. Yeah. So we had to move on out. But we started the year and I was still homeschooling and overwhelmed. I started medication. I like it was a mess because we were in so much transition and I think like ending the year I finally feel like I felt like I've gotten my groove yeah um the kids are doing really well in school they're still home with me they're part of an online community that is amazing they love it they um are thriving in what their extracurriculars. That's awesome. And so I feel like we're we're settled into our new home. We're settled into our routine, our rhythm. And then business wise, whenever my brain space is freed up, like you want to add something else. More stuff comes in. I mean this podcast. That's true. That like true. I got two podcasts. This one <sighs> is fun though. Yeah. I mean I love my other one. Um but but this, this is one. more like freedom. Like you this don't have to. This is chill. Yeah. This, this is, is a real. Chill. Yeah. Real meat drinking. Right. My wine. Um, but it's, it's, I feel like I have invested a lot in coaches mm-hmm. and really getting a strong foundation on my business and getting clarity on how I want to show up, what I want to offer. 
And yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm officially out of the wedding scene. No more and second shooting. I mean, I don't have any booked for the next year. Okay. And I might just say no to all of them. Especially like if we... Are you going to? I know. Because you have a hard time saying no. I know. And I have a two... So this episode will air when I'm technically off work. Like I planned a two-week sabbatical starting... Um, it started last week in December 20th-ish. Um, and... I'm on break until January. That's awesome. So we'll see. Check back in. I'll, I'll update everyone when this episode airs to see if I'm actually taking time off because it's so hard. I just find comfort in working, and working and like doing things. And I feel like my work, like I enjoy everything I do. So it doesn't feel like work. Like even this podcast, like it's so much work to produce a podcast, but I love it. And I love spending time with you. Aww. Yeah, I know. I'm the one that's editing all the... My husband is the one filming it, and I'm the one editing it. And I, you know, I have a full-time job. Mm-hmm. You know, I have... I work from home, so... And I do have one... one uh, my youngest, he only goes to school part-time. So mm-hmm. when he gets home, like, I have to juggle work yeah. and making sure he's staying active, um, and also, like, throwing this into the mix now, too, and I have real estate as well. Um, How's that going? You know, I I wanted to do um, part-time. I just wanted to do part-time, and Mm -hmm. um, at first, I just wanted, like, friends and family, like, helping them out, find their their dream home, or selling their their homes. Um, Right now, it's not a good market right now you know with real estate with those interest rates are high so I think that's why I was like you know what let me just do this as part-time real estate and get back into working um, full-time and that way you know because my son's therapy sessions they're even though we have insurance and it covers all that it's expensive Mm -hmm out of the out of pocket for the amount of money that we pay for insurance I'm like why do we still have to pay out of pocket it's ridiculous yes so I was just like you know what it is insurance so I'm just like yeah I have to get a full-time job I have to because this is not this is not gonna work you know I we pay like 700 800 dollars a month just for his therapy sessions you know, yeah. kids, like we would be rolling, girl. If we didn't have kids, girl, girl. Yeah. So, but I do love my job. I do love what I do. Um, it does. It definitely gives me the flexibility to, um, to be at home with him and to yeah. help him out. And I only go into the office once a week. But I also, I'm a very creative person, so I feel like I need that creative outlet too. And this is definitely, this is definitely it. You know, I did weddings for nine years, and I was mm-hmm. burnt out. Mm-hmm. Just, like, doing the same thing over and over. I'm the type of person that needs change. Mm. Like, I can't do something for, the like, the same thing over and over again. For, you know, especially weddings when it's, you know, hard on your body, and, you know, you're dealing with... You know, I had wonderful couples. I did. I had... 99% of them were were great. You know, there's always that 1%. Yeah. But can't always be perfect. But mm-hmm. I do. I loved all of them. and um, But I realized that I was missing a lot of my kids being gone on the weekends. Especially, you know, when they're in school during the week. Yeah. And then weddings are on the weekends. So that was another reason why I kind of... you know took a step back Mm -hmm. so I was like I feel like family time is super important to me seeing my kids grow and being there um was important so yeah I mean I I love to work I love to create I'm excited for this new venture I 
you know, it's definitely, um, it's out of my comfort zone for sure. What? You feel so, it looks so natural for you. What? That's because, and it, my friends always laugh at me. They're like, Vanessa, you're not shy. I'm like, yeah, because you've known me for 20 years. Yeah. That's how you, because this is how I am That's with true. you. And right now it's just us and my husband. So it's not like random people watching me talk, yeah. you know, and right now I just notice cameras, but like that doesn't, you know, yeah, it doesn't I don't even notice me. the cameras. Right. It doesn't. I'm like talking to you. Yeah. So that's why I try to, I'm blocking it out. What if we do a live episode next year? Oh my year? God. <laughs> That'd be so fun. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll think about that one. Okay. That would be fun, but I've already I can't done. Edit, I can't edit the shit that I don't like out. <laughs> Girl, you're funny. <laughs> Keep it all in. Now watch. We do a live episode and you're just calladita. Ahí. And I'm just be. like. All talking. Uh, it'll be crickets. And I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. No, <laughs> I, I will make sure. Um, but no, I'm like, I feel like sometimes I can be really awkward, too. And I, I do well, like that's something funny, is it? At least I laugh at you. I know, but I mean, no. When you meet somebody new, do you ever? Are you ever like? Do you feel like you're awkward? Yes, I recently met met someone. Let me tell you. Okay, <laughs> so, jeez, I I'm pretty sure no one in that circle is going to listen to these episodes, <laughs> but. Uh, my daughter's part of a ballet company, and I, she's like, I have been involved with this ballet company for. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm moving. Okay, okay, I've been part of this ballet company since she was like four, okay. and so I'm there all the time. She's at ballet four days a week now, in the evenings, and I will just bring my laptop to work. Elias plays video games uh, when he's with me. And I just chill out there. And so I see a lot of the moms. I see, I hear the chisme that's going on. I, I hear the chisme from the back end when... Are they all like Caucasian people? Um, yes, I would say it's, it's definitely getting more diverse. That's good. I give I I see that they're trying. Okay. So I would say 85%. Okay. Yes. And that's different from what 8 years when my daughter started. Right. So I do see them trying to bring in more diverse voices, diverse teachers, yeah. all the things. Um but I can't relate to a lot of the people still. So I just listen. I just, I hear the cheese from the You're back quiet. end. I hear the cheese from the front end. And um, I recently met um, a, a ballet dad. And he, um, so we were, it's Elena's friend. So I was like, okay, let me get to know this person. I'm taking pictures. I take pictures for the ballet company. And um, I should give them a shout out. So it's Ballet Five Eight, nonprofit, Latina co-founded. Okay. I have been supporting them for years since they started. Right. Elena loves this company. They're doing great work out in Orland Park. Okay. And Chicago. They just launched a Chicago uh, location. Anyway, I was I've known of this parent. Because Elena, like I see the parents, right? But she was recently invited to like a gathering, a get together, and so this person was inviting me to their house, or like Elena was invited to their house, and I'm not the kind of parent that is just gonna drop off their kids and be like, peace, right? Like I need to know who is there. Mm -hmm. I need to know how long. I need to know the parents. That Mexican mom coming out. Yes. And I was, like, real careful because I'm just like, am I invited to this party? Because right. I'm not about to just drop you off. And so I was invited. Okay. 
<clears throat> but I also didn't want to be like that mom that's just like <laughs> watching. Just watching from the corner. Yes. And so this this father introduced himself and I'm just like, yeah, thank you so much for like letting me come in. And oh, it was a dad. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then I would totally be there too. Right. Because I'm just yeah. like, look. Yeah. Like you, mm. you might be like involved, but Mm-mm. I know how the world's. We you know. can never be too safe. Right. Like my kids don't do sleepovers. Absolutely. Like my kids, like, no, it's a Latina mom. Like they got brothers. You're not going. They got fathers. <laughs> you're not going. <laughs> they got tios. <laughs> they got tios. No. <laughs> um, that's how it was for me growing up. And so I'm just as vigilant. Okay. Um, but he was so nice and he was like making conversation I, Ted Bundy like, was nice, too. So, okay. This dad is not white. Let me just say that. Okay. So he definitely understood where I was coming from because I was just like... Okay. He, you know, he gets I'm it. Not, I'm like, I'm not just dropping my daughter off. I was like, I'm an involved parent. <laughs> involved. You're like staring at him. I'm an involved... Squinting. I'm an involved parent. Involved. Right? Like, uh... She's wearing a camera right here in her pockets. <laughs> yes. And he was just like, totally, so am I. Like, come, hang out with us. And I'm just like, okay. So I did hang out. But that interaction, that 15 minutes, I was Ooh. like, in my head, I'm like, okay, don't be weird. Don't be... Don't be that person. And I'm like thinking about exactly what he's saying. And like he told me his name and I immediately forgot Forget. it. I'm the same way. Even though I repeated it. Oh and Lord. I was just I'm like, the same way, okay, girl. sir. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, mister. Person's dad. <laughs> um, but they were so nice. It was a great get together. But the whole time I was like... Yeah. I mean, and Awkward. that's why I said, like, I'm the same way. I don't, yes, I, if I have, like, my friends with me, it'll, ooh, it makes it, see, I'm already drinking too much. Mira? I've not drank <laughs> enough. <laughs> no, but, like, if I'm with my friends, they're, like, my security blanket. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm able to be myself. I don't care. But if I'm by myself and I don't know who you people are, it's yes. like when I said that I don't, I'm not good at networking. I really am not because I can't just go and be like, hey, how nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? Like, I'm not, I'm not uh, like that. I'm, I'm I wait expert. for you. I wait for you to come up to me and talk to no, me. No, I'm an expert at going up to people. Now you are. Like, okay. So I'm an expert at doing that in spaces that I don't know a lot of people, but like at ballet, I will not like. I won't talk to anybody unless Nobody. they talk to so me. So you, so if you go to like a space where like a networking space, yes, you're able to go up to somebody yeah. and be like, "Hey, how's it going?" Like you know, because I hate small talk. I really do. Like mm. I, you know, it's like if I don't know you, if we're not going to be like friends for a long time. Then what's the point of me telling? Talking I love to you? small talk. Woof. <laughs> Like, God, small talk. You get deep, and I'm just like, mm, I don't know you. <laughs> I mean, I would rather have the other person get deep with yes. me. Yes. Right. But I you're like, not gonna go and no. Give yeah. Them, okay. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm talking about. I like for them to get deep. Exactly. So I will ask the deep questions so that they talk, and I just have to listen. Well, then that should be the same thing with your ballet people. Yeah, the the thing is that I don't. It's because want you see them, them all the. Dang! So the truth comes out. You just yes. don't care to know. There's them. a select few that I do chat with, and I would would not mind getting to know. Is it because you're like judging from afar, like on their react on their interactions with other people? That's what I do. Um, a little bit of that. I a observe bit from of, afar. Like I think they're probably. Not on the same level level as far as understanding that I'm Mexican. Yeah. Okay. 
you know, you no, know I get what it. I'm saying? I get it. I get it. You know it. what I'm saying without saying I it. I do. I do. I okay. get it. And I can definitely relate. Um, you know, I do have white friends. And yeah, me too. I mean, well, she hates when I say white. She's Italian. Um, but <laughs> she's like, I'm not white. I'm Italian. Well, that's right, girl. We both have, you know, you know, similar cultures. Her parents came from straight from Italy. So we under, like, we get it. Like, you know, we kind of were raised the same way. So that's yes. how we can relate, right? But then there's other people that don't have the parents that came from another country, right? So yes. they cannot relate. They cannot, like. Yes. So but it's at hard. the same time, okay. Okay. Everyone who is in the U.S., has come from another country. Yeah, but like... But, Except for the people who well, were right, here right, first. Well, right, 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 But what I'm talking about is they, like, <clears throat> like with my friend. Yes. Her parents, she's the second generation, first generation, right? Okay. So she is, she can relate to me. Like, we have that, yes. you know, I see, connection. I see. Yeah, Whereas yeah. as far as, like, there's other people... That their parents were born in America. Like Michael. Right. Okay. So they're, they don't understand. Yes. What. Correct. We, you know, what family, like my yeah. family has been through and mm-hmm. what kind of struggles they've had to deal with and, you know, being a different race and, and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Yes, I get it. Like, obviously, Italians and Mexicans, they're probably treated a little bit better, right? Yes. And it's, it's a little different. It is a little different, but where, you know, I know that she, her parents struggled when they, when Mm -hmm. they came over here. So that's how we're able to make, you know, the connection. Whereas like if I'm going somebody and they're, you know, don't have those type of struggles. Yeah. It's hard for me to like relate. What are we going to talk about? Yeah. To open up for me to be vulnerable. Because as soon as you open up, they say something that you're just like "Mm." cringe. Yeah. yeah, and then you're, you're just like, like mm, no, no, mm. we're gonna take it back. Yeah, no. Like I'm not as invested to get into this conversation with you. Right. I don't really care to get yes. deep with you to tell you because this is gonna. So end that's why badly. I mean, yeah. like, I don't like small talk, mm-hmm. especially if I have to be at this person's house for mm-hmm. an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are we gonna talk about? Yeah. Yeah. Like no, I that, get it. And that's where the awkwardness comes, you know, like then I'm like, you know, I, when I say mm-hmm. awkward, like there, there are times where like I'll order something and, you know, from, you know, Starbucks or whatever, let's just uh, giving an example. And they're like, oh, enjoy. I'll be like, you too. Like, <laughs> like the shit, the shit just comes out like that without me even like, like, I just, I feel like I just don't think. <laughs> it just like comes out sometimes or like yeah. I just I am just awkward sometimes okay I think we need to go to a networking event together because I would like to see you in action girl well <laughs> I'm gonna be right th- you're gonna be my security blanket all right all right I think that should be okay in 2024 we need to go out and do things together yes. and document it we do. Oh, yes. Document it. Yeah. You can like help me come out because come out of my shell more. I mean, I feel like I am, you know, I've definitely grown from where I was at, like in high school was all like, mm-hmm. you know, shy and timid. And yeah, when I did get angry, I would, you know, the anger would come out. But yeah, no, I've we can be each other's security blankets. <laughs> and at the end of the day, we'll just like retreat and document yeah. it. Oh my goodness. Talk about it on this podcast. Yeah. I mean, my husband, he, I've always told him, I'm just like, come with me to a networking. No, babe, you got this. You can do this. You know, I was like, no, I can't. I need you there to like, you know, talk to these people, random people. I don't even know. (laughs) Oh, that's funny because I do not want Michael with me. (laughs) I'm like, you're going to cramp my style. (laughs) Like you're going to mess up my vibe. I'm like, you're going to say something that I'm going to be upset with because he has done so. Oh, my gosh. On a few occasions. I was going to say many occasions, but it's just been a few. Okay. Where I will then, before we go into somewhere, I'm like, don't embarrass me. 
cat. Yes. It's like a child. That's what you say to your kids. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, Poor act Michael. right. What does I'm he like, say? Well, now he gets a little offended because it's been 14 years. Before, he was just like, what? <laughs> what? I won't. I and then I'll bring receipts. Oh, okay. And then he'll be like, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I mean, don't, I mean, you can't get mad if I say something just because I'm awkward. Like, I'll, this, you know. I'm going to tell you a story. This one time, I was closing the deal for a wedding. And they, we take people, we used to take people out for drinks. Oh, that's And nice. we were like, oh, we'll get it. Like, we'll pay. Mm-hmm. And they were just like, no, let's split it. Like, thank you so much. And he's like, it's the least we can do for as much as you're paying us. Oh, and Lord. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Michael. Shush. I'm like, you, this is. You're like, like we are with the the real people. Like you can't yeah. say that. Yeah, no. So that's what I mean. Like he'll So he's awkward like that too. Huh? Yes. Okay, that's he's some shit better. I would say too. He's though. gotten better. This was like way early on in our career. I mean, yeah, I feel like that's some shit I would say too. And then later on I would think about it. Like seriously, just keep thinking about it and I'll be like, Oh my god. Why did you say that? And then I'm just like, oh, ooh, I get like, I cringe on myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think this is a good way to like close out the year. Our resolution. Stop being so cringe. Stop Let's being go. so cringe and awkward. Okay. So stop thinking so much about it. Yes. Like, yes. let's just, let's Who just cares? be. Right. This is me. This is this is you. This is me. Let's go out and do stuff together and just laugh at it. And now we have an outlet to tell people that look, they're it's not okay. They're not alone. Right. We're also awkward. We also make mistakes. We also say things that we regret. We also overthink everything. Absolutely. So but yeah. cheers. Ooh. Nombre. Get your glass filled. Mm-hmm. You want me to fill it up again? I mean, not fill it. Okay. Here. These mics are like... <gasps> there. Yeah. All right. Here's to 2023. Cheers. 2024 is going to be Even amazing. Better. Yes. Deuces. Be out. Oh, that was a big sip. <laughs> Damn, girl. All right. K out. All right. <laughs> 2023, last episode of the year. We got this. See you in the new year. Roll it.